Vita Vitro, advancing IVF solutions for tomorrow's families. Where is Vita Vitro located? Vita Vitro Biotech is a leading company in the IVF market, headquartered in Shenzhen, a coastal city in South China, adjoining Hong Kong. Shenzhen is a national economic, science and technology innovation, regional financial, commercial and logistics center. Vita Vitro was founded in 2015 to provide comprehensive solutions to IVF laboratories around the world. This is possible thanks to the Chief Scientific Officer, CSO, Professor Gabor Vesta, as well as the company's independent R&D center, professional production team, qualified products, and optimized management system. Vita Vitro is the first Chinese art company to receive FDA CE certification. The Vita Vitro team believes that quality comes first and that improving product quality is the key to protecting patients. All Vita Vitro's production processes and quality control standards are in line with the standards of China, the United States, and Europe. Moreover, in contrast to many other companies, Vita Vitro's products are produced locally and need to be supervised by China. Vita Vitro also accepts supervision in line with European and American standards and uses a rigorous system of production. In order to ensure consistent product quality, Vita Vitro has carried out all-round and multi-dimensional control over the product life cycle from raw materials, semi-product, final product quality control to cold chain transportation. After six years of development, the achievements of Vita Vitro are inseparable from our chief scientist, Professor Gabor Vajda, an internationally renowned embryologist. He invented the first open vitrification carrier, OPS, in 1998 and was involved in the development of the first generation time lapse system. Professor Vajta has published more than 144 articles with a citation rate of more than 15,000. Furthermore, Professor Vajta works as a professor at many universities and serves on the editorial board of internationally renowned embryology journals. In 2021, Professor Vajta published a book about the innovative technology in his IVF lab, which covers all the details, links, and the IVF process. You can contact us to make an order, if interested. Meanwhile, Professor Vajta is willing and open to engaging in academic discussion. You can follow him on LinkedIn. As an international company, Vita Vitro's goals are globally oriented and focused on the future. So far, Vita Vitro has covered more than 50 countries and regions with more than 30 distributors worldwide. Vita Vitro participates in ASRM and ESHRE every year. Our team is always willing to communicate with your customers, business partners, and professionals. Vita Vitro's on-site workshop was a great opportunity to learn about vitrification and embryo culture from Professor Vajta. In China, Vita Vitro is especially proactive about engaging in academic communications with domestic IVF professionals, participating in important conferences and providing face-to-face -face technical support. It's sad that we don't currently have the chance to meet our friends and partners outside of China. We do hope to meet you all in person soon. Now, to discuss our product line and service. From oocyte sperm retrieval to embryo transfer, medium labware's equipment and information management system are greatly beneficial. This slide shows what IVF labs need in different phases, stages. For now, the main products of Vita Vitro are medium labware's equipment, but the team is planning to bring a total solution to IVF labs worldwide. Here, you can find a list of all FDA-approved products. Some of them are also CE and NMPA certified. Most remarkably, Vita Vitro has two sperm processing products that were approved by the FDA in early 2022. Vita Vitro's cryopreservation system includes a vitrification kit, warming kit, and straw, and was approved by the FDA in 2018. It can be successfully used for MII phase, oocyte, and any stages of embryo development. With its many benefits such as safe, easy, effective, and universal use, this system was fully developed by Professor Gabor Vajda. OPS is a user-friendly straw that requires little training and is easy to learn. One of its remarkable features is that the embryos, oocytes, can be automatically loaded and expelled. Compared with some other carriers, OPS will shorten the training cycle for new embryologists and greatly improve the operation efficiency. OPS uses open vitrified and closed storage, 
maintains a high cooling rate to avoid potential cross-contamination and provides better protection to the precious cells. Remarkably, compared with Cryotop, OPS was cited 1,332 times by popular carriers around the world. In 2016 and 17, Vita Vitro completed clinical research related to oocyte and embryo vitrification in cooperation with the Reproductive Center in Texas. A total of 72 subjects and 659 oocytes were included in the study. The data indicates that Vita Vitro's products provide a survival rate of 91% a positive HCG rate of 68.9% and a live birth rate of 46.7%. A total of 417 subjects were included in the embryo vitrification study. The results demonstrated that the recovery rate was 100%, the positive HCG rate was 67.9%, and the live birth rate was 50.6%. Both the live birth rate and positive HCG rate were higher than the average level in the United States in that year. After completion of clinical trials in the U.S., Vita Vitro launched a prospective multicenter clinical RCT study in China. This clinical trial is also a pioneer in the clinical research of vitrification in China. The control group was Kitazado. The results of the test also verify the safety and effectiveness of our products. The results demonstrated that the recovery rate was 100%. The clinical pregnancy rate was 63.93% and the continuous pregnancy rate was 60.78%. At present, 66 infants have been born while 6 cases are in the process of continuous follow-up. Any follow-up data will be continuously updated and reported to all of you. In order to verify the compatibility of Vita Vitro's vitrification warming kit with similar products on the market, a widely used vitrification warming kit was selected and cross-combined to cryopreserved mouse embryos at the fission stage. Results showed that there was no statistical difference between the cross-combined use and control group VV, P greater than 0.05, which proves Vita Vitro's vitrification warming kit is compatible with similar products. Vita Vitro self-developed the Vitrification app, a free coaching mobile app that serves as a companion during the vitrification process. The app has multiple functions. It provides separate protocols for oocytes and embryos. Each step has video and picture accompaniments. There is also a timer function. You just need to bring your mobile device to the lab. The contact information for Professor Vajda can be found on the last page, in case you have any questions. The second important piece of technology developed by Professor Vajda is the embryo production system. It is highly suggested to combine the culture medium and well of the well while culture dishes. The one-step culture medium is designed to meet all the chemical and physical needs of human embryos following fertilization until days 5 and 6 of development. WOW was designed in accordance with the original well of the well specifications introduction by Professor Vajda in 1999. At the heart of the WOW culture dish concept is a set of micro wells to provide a micro environment for embryo development. This dish can be used for both embryo cultures and time lapses. A related article was published in 2021 by Professor Vajda and Professor Lodovico Parmigiani. Clinical trials in Europe have also proven that a combination of one-step culture medium and WOW will maximize the embryo culture performance. Both the blastocyst formation rate and high-quality blastocyst formation rates are higher than those of the control group. Flushing buffer medium, no HSA, no heparin. Gamete buffer medium, HEPES buffered with HSA. Two new products under the sperm processing category have been approved by the FDA in January of 2022. Another new product is Humdish, an improved embryo culture dish used to effectively prevent evaporation during the embryo culture. Though there have been many discussions exploring ways to solve the evaporation issue and keep the great humidity for culturing during the past few years, however, this problem has been solved by designing a very simple dish. The relative paper was published in 2021 by Professor Vajda and Professor Parmigiani. The data demonstrates a stable humidity of greater than 97% and eliminates the change of osmotic pressure from day 0 to day 6 in the commonly used culture environment, oil covered. The embryo culture dish, hum dish, improves the stability of humidity within the culture environment. This product is suitable for all traditional incubators. 
In conclusion, Vita Vitro is aiming to provide a one-stop IVF solution and service integration by having international certifications and outstanding clinical results. Vita Vitro has achieved quality assurance. Our logistics service has fully taken the character of our products, transportation duration, and other factors which might affect the user experience into consideration. In order to provide stable supply chain management and an optimized shipping delivery service to all clients, Vita Vitro will continue providing advanced IVF solutions for tomorrow's families.